Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're doing something fun. I went through my makeup drawers and I did a big purge, got rid of everything that's expired. This isn't stuff that's been used up. I have used it obviously, um, but this is just stuff that's no longer good to use. <laughs> so I wanted to get rid of it, make way for any makeup. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's not a whole bunch of stuff, but I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it was enough to do a video on. So anyways, hope you guys like it and let's get started. So I'm just going to reach in here, pull things out and talk about it. So that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> um, this is BH Cosmetics, um, BH Day and Night 60 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I remember buying this. Um, I think I ordered it on their website like forever ago. And this is what it looks like. It has like that little sleeve. Hang on, let me try to get that off. Um, I remember I got this because it has like every shade you could possibly want um, in eyeshadow and it's so beautiful and I love BH Cosmetics. I haven't used their stuff in a long time, honestly. Um, but yeah, I've just had this for too long and it needs to go. But I would recommend trying their stuff out if you've never used it. Um, it's really affordable, so. Um, next is my Naked 3 palette. I, oh man, it's like having some issues here. Um, these, I loved this palette so much. It was so pretty. Um, but it's just too old at this point, but I used it a lot. I feel like, ugh, I feel like I can never go through eyeshadows quick enough. Um, I think it's just because I have so much makeup that I just kind of rotate, you know, around, but I loved it. Um, I hate to get rid of it. It makes me kind of sad, but it needs to go. It's just, it's old. <laughs> I'm probably going to say that like a million times. These are from Lorac. There are four of them. I believe this came in a like Christmas collection, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I'll show you all of them. There is this one. This one. I really like this one a lot. This one and this one very pretty my sister's facetiming me hello hi baby hi everly you look really pretty i'm in the coming? middle of filming <laughs> this is my niece she's the cutest baby in the world say hi everly <laughs> Making it her big her big YouTube debut right here. <laughs> I'm gonna call you back in a little bit, okay? <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Really loved these. Um, and they're like velvet and beautiful, and I just they this was a beautiful collection. Um, but they're old. I feel like these are like five years old, maybe. I don't know. They're they're old. <laughs> So next I have the Smoked Urban Decay Palette. I got this for Christmas a few years ago, at least probably five years ago, um, and I loved it. And I swear I used this thing like so much, so, so, so much. Um, but yeah, these were like some really beautiful like jewel tones down here on the bottom, and I just loved this so much. I feel like this was like what I wore when I was like going out, you know what I mean? Like if I had a night out, um, I would pull this out, but yeah, I loved it, and I'm sad to get rid of this one, honestly. I'm not super like sentimental with makeup, but I feel like some of these like, I don't know, when it comes to Urban Decay eyeshadows, I'm like, I don't want to get rid of them. Now I do have my uh, Naked One palette that I will never get rid of. Let me show you. I mean, everybody knows what it looks like. But this was like my first like luxury makeup item that I ever bought and I loved it. I think this was actually the second one I bought because I bought, I went through these kind of quickly because I loved it and I was like, yeah, expensive makeup. <laughs> hmm. But anyways. Next, I have this NYX Ultimate uh, Shadow Palette thingy. This is USP Brights, is what it says. USP 04 Brights. Um, I remember I got this because I wanted to have some like, bright eyeshadow in my collection because I didn't really have any. Um, but as you can see, I didn't really use it. I love the idea of playing with color shadow, but I don't do it that often. Um, I just feel like... I don't know like I just don't I don't really have anywhere to wear it to I wish my life was that exciting but unfortunately it's not <laughs> okay so I have both of these L'Oreal 
um, La Palette Nude 1 and 2. I really like these when they came out. I did a video on, I think it was the 2, but yeah, these are really pretty and really good quality. I really liked them, but I've had them for too long, so they need to go. This is what the first one looked like. Yeah, I really like them. Really, really like them. I don't really know how, how long eyeshadows keep, but I just know that like literally all of these I've had for like probably four years or more, I think. And I just feel like that's too much. That's too long to have makeup. I don't know. Um, so I have two more single shadows here. Let's see. I have this Bare Minerals shadow in Vanilla Sugar. Like, I don't even buy Bare Minerals, so I don't even know how I got this. Someone probably gave it to me, but it's old. <laughs> and then another shadow that I really liked, um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible doo -doo -doo -doo, in Liquid Diamond. Oh my gosh, I really liked this. That's what it looks like. This is like a silver blue color. I think they still sell these. I don't know, but like... You know, when I wanted to put some silver on my lid or something, I was like, yeah, this is so pretty. But, you know, I haven't worn that in, like, such a long time. If I haven't reached for it in the past, like, six months, I'm probably not going to ever reach for it. So, it doesn't need to stay. <laughs> um, I have these two eyeliners. They're, like, the same, from the same line. It's, like, the L'Oreal uh, So Kiss Me. So Kiss Me. I don't know. I have gold and silver, and I... Again, I loved these things. Like, oh my gosh, I'm peeling because I got burnt. But this is the silver. I mean, that still looks real pretty. I know that's old, but man, I want to keep that. <laughs> and then this is the gold. Oh, that gold is really soft. But yeah, so I've just had these like for so long. I really wear stuff like this at concerts. Like if I'm going out to like a show or something, I don't know, I'll put it like in my uh, waterline. I love putting a silver in my waterline um it just really like makes my eyes like bam stand out and it's a little fun like it's kind of like ooh, what does she have going on in her makeup there so i feel like i always get compliments when i put a silver or a really pretty gold i don't really love this gold that much um but if i put one of these like in my waterline just for like a little fun something i'd get a lot of compliments on it um let's see Doo -doo -doo -doo. oh i have this Ardell um, Lash Adhesive. I just got this like a month ago. I've used it two different times and it sucks. <laughs> like the first time I did it, my lashes came off like on the inside. I'm not wearing lashes today because I don't have any to wear. Um, I need to get some more. But yeah, so I used this two different times and on the ends of the lash band, they peeled up two different times. And the second time I actually put like a lot of this stuff on here, but it's so thin, like it's kind of hard to build up. It's very, very thin. It's like water. Um, so, yeah, that really sucks, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is not expired. It's just not good. So, don't. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Profusion Sparkly Eye Topper. I don't know where I got this or when, but it has like multicolor glitter, like little specks in it. It's pretty, but. I'm never going to wear that. So it's probably expired. I don't even know when I got it. So I have a lot of lipstick products here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pull them out and talk about each one of them. This one is a, let's see, this is CoverGirl Flame, 300 Flame. And I, guys, me and my bright lipsticks, like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it for summer. Oh, so, so pretty. It's like an orangey, red, pink-ish shade um but yeah i love it it's just expired this is bite beauty hmm, some kind of lipstick I, it, the print is way too little in here for me to read that but this is like a really beautiful purple oh my gosh that's so pretty that's so pretty why didn't i wear this like i never wore that i don't think i did anyways um but yeah it's just been in here way too long like if i can't really remember when i got it it's it's leaving <laughs> Um, this one is a Lime Life lipstick in creme brulee. I love this one. I think this is just like, it's like an empties slash, it's probably expired because I've had this for at least two years. I don't know. 
uh, that's it right there. And I actually already reordered it because um, I love that one a lot. Really pretty. Um, this one I wore in my friend's wedding in 2018. So I don't know, for me, that's just kind of too long. But this is the Revlon Color Stay Overtime Lip Color 16 Hour Wear in the shade Unlimited Mulberry. My friend had a beautiful October wedding. And so we had um, uh, like maroon dresses and I wanted something that was going to stay on. And I loved this. I kind of forgot I had it. Um, but yeah, that's it right there. It's really, really pretty. And then you top it with, you let that dry and then you top it with like the glossy end. Loved it. Um, I would definitely, I need to get more of those because that worked really, really well for me. This is a Milani uh, Flamingo Rose. <laughs> like, wow that is bright the problem is like I love I love bright lipsticks I just need to go more places to wear them but that's it right there on the end um beautiful Milani lipsticks are some of my favorites like I love those so pretty this is a Rimmel lipstick it's from like the Kate collection it has Kate right here on the lid um it's in the shade 10 it's a beautiful red collar and this is what it looks like right here it's so hard to like figure out the monitor and where I'm at and stuff but yeah that's it right there it's so pretty I love it um it's so smooth too like I, I just love Rimmel lipsticks too um but yeah the next I have this NYX lipstick in 569 is there actually a shade on here smacking fun colors that's all it says and it has 569 oh wait snow white <laughs> that's the shade so again it's another red um, let me find a new place to, oh, this is like a deep, a deep red. Look at that guys. It's beautiful. I freaking love it in the shade snow white. I probably got that because people always call me snow white because I'm so pale and my hair is so dark. Um, yeah. in like junior high people call me snow white kind of teasing me because I was so pale, but that's fine. I own it. <laughs> Um, I have another NYX lipstick in the shade, um, let's see, Eros, E-R-O-S, and this is another red, let me see, Doo -doo -doo -doo. okay, so that's it right here, it's kind of like an, um, definitely an orangey, warm red, so pretty, so, so, so pretty, I'm gonna have to go buy some more red lipsticks, um, before the holidays for sure. This is a julep. I feel like I got this in some kind of box, maybe. I'm not sure. Julep. Um, doo -doo -doo. This is in the shade Smooch, which is super cute. And yeah, this is kind of really dried up. Let me put it right here for you. This is definitely a matte, you can tell. Definitely a matte. Really pretty. I remember liking this a lot. I don't know where you buy julep at, though. Next, I have this little Lorac gloss. It's Alter Ego Lip Gloss. Um, it's really small, so I'm assuming I got it in some kind of gift set or something. This is in the shade Goddess. And this is like purple. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. That is so weird. Like that does not really look like, I don't know. And on my hand, it doesn't swatch like it looks like in the container, so that's kind of funny, but that's beautiful for fall. Oh, I love that. All right, my last gloss is Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss in the shade Strawberry Cream. Very pretty. Doesn't smell like strawberries, unfortunately. Let me put it right here. That's so pretty. Like a really pretty, just kind of bubblegum pink. Um, I love bubblegum pinks, but I have to be careful because sometimes I feel like that shade like the light baby pinks make my teeth look yellow. My teeth are not yellow, so. Um, the last product I have that I'm getting rid of um, is this Tristique. It's a, let's see, matte color, shiny lip balm crayon in Tuscan wine. It's very pretty. And we'll put it right here. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. It makes me sad to get rid of all these because I'm like, they're all so pretty and they swatch really well. Like that is like beautiful shade. Like it went on so pretty. Ugh, I've got to start wearing things more. <laughs> but again, I've just had it. Like this says it expires 
18 months from the time you open it. And I for sure have had this thing a year at least. So, you know, and I don't know like how things expire if they like mold or something like, ew, I don't know. You're putting that on your skin, on your lips and around your eyes. No, thank you. If things are expired, toss them, get new makeup it's okay. All right, guys. So that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it would be kind of interesting just to see some products that I have and things I've used in the past. Um, and yeah, as I was cleaning out my drawers, I thought oh, that'd be a fun video to do. So here we are. <laughs> so I hope you liked it. Um, if you did give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, and turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.